Hello, welcome to the Bonita Omaha Show, your host, Saul Lopez. I'm delighted that today you are with us and we have a lot of information. Uh, specifically, we have a big event coming up, which is the Cinco de Mayo. And for that reason, I am honored to introduce you to Marcos Mora and Nancy Montañez. And they know all about what is going to take place um, even though we are recording this program a little bit ahead of the event, it'll be important that we communicate about what is going to take place. People want to know, you know, COVID has hit us so hard that right now our memory might, we might not remember everything that took place two years ago. But now we're about to celebrate this important event for Omahans. And we have a lot of people that come from different parts of the country, Midwest, different states around. So... Let's start by talking about why is Cinco de Mayo an important event? And when it comes to the economy, how much money do you have information we get out of this event? Sure. Well, we say uh, Cinco de Mayo is, uh, is a great event for the economy for Omaha, right? Um, it generates, you know, we estimate that it generates probably about $7.5 million back into the economy because we have families and people coming from all over, from about six surrounding states. Uh, TripAdvisor ranks our Cinco de Mayo one of the top five in the country. So it's really unique. And, and think about it also that Cinco de Mayo, 16 de Septiembre, those are Mexican festivals combined have been going on since 1920. So we have over 100 years of being along historic South 24th Street in South Omaha. So a lot of history, long, a lot of longevity, and it's a wonderful event for Omaha and for South Omaha. Excellent, excellent. And this year, I know that I've seen some information about what is going to take place. You're still going to have what is very well known as El Desfile, you know, the parade. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about some of the activities that are going to take place. Maybe probably, Nancy, you have more idea as to when those are going to start or what exactly is going to happen on each day. Could you just let us know? Oh, certainly. Well, we're going to have the events going to kick off uh, May 6th. Uh, Friday, May 6th, and then it's going to go to um, the whole weekend, the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th. So we're going to start with um, a concert night on Friday, and then Saturday morning kicks off um, with a parade. We're, um, this year we're going to be from L to Q Street, so we do have all that. Not, all, not the parade, the festival. Well, not the festival, not the parade. The festival is going to be from um, Q to L Street, but we are going to have um, the parade is going to be from D Street, to L. to L Street, um, and then we're going to have um, concerts and food vendors and sponsors and and carnival rides and um, everything going on over the weekend. And I think Nancy touched base on something, saying, you know, this year is the first year we're going all the way to L Street, or not L, to Q. To Q. Mm -hmm. So we first brought back L, and now we're going all the way to Q, so we're getting an extra block, because, you know, the event's growing. I know 2020, 21, we're kind of, and but... This year we're hoping to get close to full capacity and so we need that extra space so we'll have all the way down 24th street and then the plaza and that's very important these days too you know people need more space to to walk safely through all of the different vendors and the food places i just love all the the food vendors yeah. because there is so much food there different varieties different recipes of different latin american countries so it is an event for those that really like to enjoy different dishes in Omaha. Don't, don't, do not miss it out. That's a very important event. There are other events happening at the same time. I was going through some of the uh, uh, notes a, a few minutes ago, and I read about a, an event for pets. You have an event for pets, and I went like, I want to take my dog with me. <laughs> so what's going on with that event? Tell us more about that one. So it's called a Que Chulo Dog Contest. Uh, not, not tacos de perro, but no. <laughs> uh, but we're making a joke. But no, really, it, we want to do something fun. Everyone has pets, and we thought, well, let's do something fun. So we're collecting about 100 entries. And okay. You know, yeah, so it'll be 100 entries, and they can register online, and then we'll share their, their sites. The top uh, three to five will actually be in the parade, and then we'll decide a winner. Interesting. Well, that's so we have an event for everyone, right? Everyone. And for all members of our family. In this case, we can bring in our pets as well and so they can have a great time. Um, 
Are there any other events going on uh, that you would want for people to know more about? Like, uh, I know there are bailes or like grupos que están tocando. They are, you know, you have like different ba um, mariachi bands or uh, is there something going on with music at nighttime? Well, there'll be music on the whole weekend. I mean, like Nancy mentioned, the concert will start on Friday. We, we got two stages, so there'll be music going on each stage. Um, and we're fortunate that, you know, the 24th Street stage is sponsored by First National Bank. Um, the other stage is sponsored by Viridian uh, Credit Union. So we've got different sponsors that do different things. Uh, we've got Greater Omaha sponsoring the food section. So, yeah, there's all, all kinds of, there's the food, there's the music going on all weekend on both different stages. We'll have a concert on Friday, a concert on Sunday. Um, I think the other thing what we'll have is on Saturday, we'll have, besides the health fair, right yeah. after that, I'm not, we're having to pray. I mean, there'll be a health fair. And so we're having a health fair right there. And especially with COVID going on, anybody that still maybe needs information or wants a COVID shot or wants whatever or a booster, we'll have some different people there. And we'll have some other stuff there too uh, for health health care. So we'll, have, sure. we'll bring about the health fair this year. I know, I know um, yeah, it'll be very important for all health providers, health programs pro providers to attend because I know, for instance, I have friends working for the Douglas County Health Department. They have already um, told me that they really want to know more about the event. I also know people that work at the city of Omaha and they want to attend to any of the events that will talk about um, health and how people can, in, can protect the, the, their children from being exposed to lead, in this case, lead in the soil. Mm -hmm. So I important information that will be um, available for everyone who wants to attend this event, um, are there any specific, uh, I mean, is there any way for people to learn more about, is there a website, is there a phone number? What would you encourage people to know? I mean, wh where, where do people have to go? Could you just give us the website? And uh, we're about to end this uh, interview, but uh, wh where pe can people find more information about Cinco de Mayo? Um, well, our website's been updated, so now it's CDM Omaha dot com cdmomaha.com and they can go there and find everything um there's still time to register for booth parade you know the dog contest uh, and definitely the health fair if they want to bring their organization so cdm omaha and they can register and find more information about the festival well thank you guys for attending today to this portion of this interview in english and we'll be right back Where can you watch KPAO Community Television? You know, the channel with all of the local shows. If you live in the Omaha area, Cox Channel 22 HD is your place. If you prefer streaming, go to kpaotvomaha.org. And now, if you have the Apple TV box, grab our app and watch us there. KPAO, on cable, streaming live, and now on Apple TV. ¿Qué tal? Bienvenidos amigos a aquí a su programa Bonita Omaha y el día de hoy una vez más platicando de los eventos que están sucediendo en la comunidad y en especial pues estamos ya aproximándonos al mes de mayo y tenemos un evento muy importante. Este evento es de gran tradición y le voy a dejar que nos platiquen más a nuestros invitados. Estamos hoy con Marcos Mora y con uh, Nancy Montañez. Sí. Y estoy muy contento de que ellos nos puedan platicar acerca de qué va a pasar ahora que se va a celebrar 5 de mayo. ¿Por qué es importante? ¿Cuánto dinero genera? Mucha gente de otras partes del Midwest vienen aquí, otros estados. Marcos, platícanos cuánto dinero se estima que genera y qué oportunidades va a haber para la gente que disfruten estos eventos. Sí, pues viene mucha gente de todos lados, ¿verdad? De muchos estados y... Y gastan dinero, ¿verdad? Cuando llegan, están gastando en el Hotel. festival, en los uh -huh. negocios, y, y más o menos, pues gastan como 7.5 millón de dólares Bien, en la sí. comunidad, en todos los hoteles, gas y todo. Restaurantes. Y gastan mucho dinero. So, está bien para nuestra comunidad. Um, y el evento es muy importante para, para nosotros en la 24, para los negocios y todo. Y, y ya sabes, después de COVID, pues este afectó a todos y eso es muy importante este evento para la comunidad en la 24. 
Genial. Excelente. Pues nos gustaría conocer un poquito más de cómo va a estar dividido. Yo sé que son tres días, ¿verdad? Tres días intensos. Eh, Nancy, ¿nos puedes platicar un poco más acerca de qué va a ir pasando más o menos cada día de lo que tú recuerdes? ¿Y qué, este, qué eventos, si puedes recordar algunos nombres de estos eventos, para que la gente sepa y quiera asistir? Sí, vamos a empezar el viernes, que es el 6 de mayo, uh, con la coronación de este, el mes en Mestre Programa de los niños y las jovencitas. Y este, también vamos a tener un concierto el día 6. Y entonces el día 7 va a ser en la mañana, a las 10 de la mañana, va a empezar... Uh, vamos a empezar con el desfile. So, los esperamos a todos para participar en el desfile. Todavía hay tiempo para poder registrarse y pueden entrar a la página de cdmomaha.com, que es esta nuestra nueva página que hicimos um, para el evento. Y este, ahí todavía se pueden registrar. Y este, pues, to, obvio, vamos a tener vendedores, vamos a tener este, diferentes patrocinadores. Um, tenemos el patrocinador de, de, do, de las dos... Este, um, a stages y de la que va a estar la 24 y la que va a estar también en la plaza. Son los escenarios, este uno va a ser el de la plaza, va a ser el de Viridian y el de la 24 es el de um, First National Bank que nos están patrocinando. Uh -huh. Y todo eso, todo el día va a haber comida, va a haber taquitos, va a haber este, diferentes culturas, este, popusas, vamos a tener popusas. Ya vino la señora de la popusas y este también, este. Um, puertorriqueño, comida puertorriqueña, eso va a haber diferentes este, actividades todo el día. Y el domingo vamos a empezar a las 10 de la mañana con este, la misa con mariachi y ese también vamos a tener eventos todo el día. Excelente, pues felicidades a Omaha porque después de mucha espera de COVID separando a las familias y tantas situaciones tan difíciles, eh, llega ya 5 de mayo finalmente a darnos un ánimo para los negocios del sur, para la gente que tiene oficinas en el sur de Omaha, crea atención, crea eh, derrama económica. Eh, muy importante también los espacios ya cada vez un poquito, se requiere un poquito mayor espacio. Y nos puedes platicar un poquito más, ya tengo entendido que va a crecer una cuadra más, vas a ir ahora ya hasta la calle Q. Platícanos acerca de esto, Marcos. Pues sí, vamos a expandir, pues, del de festival, pues, va a empezar a la L, en la 24 L, hasta la Q. Normalmente es hasta la O o P. La, a la O, Pero más ya necesitamos, pues, más espacio, ¿verdad? So, ya vamos hasta la Q, en, vamos a usar de la plaza, en parte de la N, y la verdad es que necesitamos más espacio, pero por mientras es algo más que, que antes, y está creciendo y viene mucha gente de todos lados. Muy importante es que si usted va a participar ahí en casita, si usted va a ir con la escuela, con los niños, con la mascota, porque vamos a platicar en un momento más que va a haber un evento para el que chulo, ¿no? Así se llama, el evento para los perritos. Muy importante es de que cualquier persona que asista, los invitamos a que si en algún momento llevamos a los niños, que si en algún momento vamos, com vamos comiendo o llevamos agüitas o algo, pues depositar, ¿verdad? La basura en el contenedor de basura. Muy importante, ahora que estamos platicando de esto, queremos que estos eventos se sigan viendo bien, que la gente disfrute y no hay nada mejor que hacerlo de manera participativa. Así que usted, si va a ir, le invitamos a que ponga su basurita en los contenedores de basura, que es lo a, nos ayuda muchísimo para que podamos tener una imagen bonita de nuestra calle 24 y de este evento que queremos que todo mundo disfrute. Marcos, algo más que nos quieras platicar, ¿cómo está este concurso de los perritos? Qué chulo, platícanos, ¿cómo está eso? <risa> los perritos, pues el qué chulo, pues um, es un concurso de los perros y vamos a hacerlo en la página de, bueno, well, en Facebook. Si pueden mandar su la foto de su perro, de vamos a poner en, la, en el Facebook, y then finalistas pues van a ir a desfile, uh -huh. eh, y vamos, van a desfilar, y then vamos a ver quién es el ganador. Excelente, excelente. También para pedir también un concurso para, creo que para las niñas chiquitas. Sí, también para este, las niñas de este programa de Mr. and Mrs. para darle la coronación, eh, y eso se va a hacer el día viernes. 
Excelente. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna de las bandas participantes, grupos que están participando, llevando música, que puedan recordar nombres? Sí, pues, todos los locales, básicamente. Sí, sí vamos a traer un, unos grupos más famosos, pues, el viernes, domingo, y todavía estamos trabajando en eso, pero vamos a anunciar pronto. Uh -huh. en, sí, los grupos y bailarines y cantantes y todo eso ya, los stages y... Y que bueno, este año tenemos la ayuda de uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart, sí. Belmont sí. Industries, um, uh, Supermercado, nuestra familia, uh, Logier. Hay muchos que están ayudándonos este año por los gastos están subiendo. Claro, por, claro. De todo seguridad, está. de soberanza, de, de, de todo. rentar todo. Sí, por, sí claro. Es, es una claro. producción que muchos que no entienden. Es eh, sí, es, es muchísimo gasto para poder tener un evento y poder tener algo bonito en Omaha, de nuestra comunidad, eh, que allá en casita pues, nos van a estar viendo. Y queremos invitarlos a que asistan, compren sus boletos, vayan al carnaval, este, prueben la comida, los, sí. los platillos deliciosos. En fin, 5 de mayo, Omaha, fechas, mayo, empieza mayo, 6, 7 es el desfile. 8 es el día de la misa en la mañana y lo que son las actividades del resto del día. Sí. Ya lo escuché usted, amigo, allá en casita, amiga, no se lo pierda, 5 de mayo ya está aquí, en un momento regresamos. Community television. It has something new. Okay, let's talk. What are we making today? Because we're using peppers. All of your favorite shows. For the dish, I'm Pam Weeks. Are available no matter where you are. And Marjorie, it's so good to see you. KPAO on the go. Go to kpaotvomaha.org. All of your favorites now streaming. Hello there, welcome back to the Bonita Omaha show. Estamos contentos que nos acompañe el día de hoy aquí en Bonita Omaha. As you know, Bonita Omaha is a bilingual show. So therefore, today we're going to be going back and forth English Spanish. Como usted sabe, ahí en casita, Bonita Omaha es un programa bilingüe. Así que el día de hoy, pues vamos a estar yendo inglés, español, en fin, platicando de este evento que es muy importante. So, Marcos. Tell us more about Cinco de Mayo. Why is it important and what would you like for people to know about Cinco de Mayo here in Omaha? A lot of viewers, they want to know why Cinco de Mayo is important. We have a lot of groups from North Omaha that signed up. They bring their schools, their dances. So why is Cinco de Mayo important and how can people get a hold of you to sign up and be part of this event? Sure. Well, this year's festival is May 6th to the 8th and along historic South 24th Street. And it's just, I think there's some things that we never realized is Cinco de Mayo is Omaha's largest local event. You know, South Omaha has groomed Omaha's largest local event. Um, and we have the largest festival in Omaha. So that's kind of two things that we can brag about. The, the other cool thing is this festival brings about $7.5 million back into our economy. It brings in almost a quarter million people over three days from six surrounding states. You know, we got vendors that come in because everyone's heard about us. TripAdvisor ranks our Cinco de Mayo Festival one of the top five in the country. We get vendors that come in from Denver, Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas City. We got people coming from all over, you know, Des Moines, Sioux City. They're coming in from all over. So we're on the map and we're recognized right here in South Omaha, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. That's excellent. Y bueno, pues, contentos de que pase 5 de mayo en Omaha. Nancy eh, Montañez, eres, eres organizadora. ¿Qué cosas van a pasar en esas fechas que son viernes, sábado, domingo, 6, 7, 8 de mayo? ¿Qué está pasando esos días? Estos días vamos a tener pues, este, a mucha comida, vamos a tener este, bailes este, folclóricos, vamos a tener este, lo, el desfile el sábado, a muchos grupos que se van a presentar, cantantes, um, también este, los, los rides, vamos a tener este, el carnaval. Um, este año vamos a tener un show, un magic show de, este, de un payaso 
entonces él va a estar con nosotros presentando su, su este programa también. Um, so va a ser desde el viernes, vamos a empezar este, con la coronación de las niñas uh, para el Mr. and Mrs. Program y después vamos a tener un concierto grande el viernes. El, do, el sábado entonces empezamos con el desfile y el desfile um, casi siempre tenemos más de 100 participantes, um, diferentes grupos y, y sí, exacto, vienen de, este, de, de todos del sur de Omaha, del West Omaha, de muchos participantes y lo importante es que es este, mucha diversidad, muchas este, culturas diferentes que tenemos aquí en Omaha y que a, a lo mejor no sabemos de, de todos los grupos que existen y eso es lo bonito de, del 5 de mayo. Pero, y después el domingo vamos a empezar con este, la misa y también tener um, programas en todo, todo el día. Eso los invitamos a y que los vengan. los caballos, the horses. Oh, sí, también los caballos, sí. Good. Sí. Well, Marco, now that you're letting us know about the horses, could you just also kind of rephrase back and tell us what is going to take place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the viewers that uh, we, we were, were having the conversation in Español. Mm -hmm. But now, for those viewers, what is going to take play fr place Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? You should do like the commercial. Come down, May 6th to the 8th, <laughs> Cinco de Mayo Mall, Family Fun Field Day for, for everyone. No. <laughs> um, you know, Friday we'll kick off with a concert and you know, we'll have two stages going, uh, DJ and the Miss program. Uh, and then of course food and vendors will be going all along there with the carnival rides. Saturday we kick off with the parade at 10, then we go into the health fair, and then of course live music and food all day long. Um, and then Sunday, um, we kick off with the mass, the Spanish mass with, with the mariachi. And after that, we'll have the Los Charros, you know, the, the cowboys will be down there with the horses doing a little of this and that. We'll have a concert later that day and then just continue with music and rides and food and everything, you know, right from L to Q Street all, all weekend long. Where do people can find out more information about this event? Is there a website? Could you let us know about the website? Yeah, the, the website, it's been updated, so it's cdmomaha.com, CDM Omaha, which stands for Cinco de Mayo, you know, Omaha, and, uh, .com, and then in Spanish, what would you say? En español es cdmomaha.com. Excelente. Well, thank you very much. So, Marco, in regard to the uh, venue, when it comes to the 24th Street, some years ago, we had some uh, spaces that were not used for the event. This year, it appears you're going to go all the way to L Street. Tell me more about those changes so people are more confident that there will be enough space for people to walk safely and interact with one another. Well, it's going to be an outdoor event, right, from May 6th to the 8th, and it's going to be right on 24th Street from L to Q. So it's going to be spread out. You're going to have carnival rides, you're going to have vendor, uh, vendor booths and exhibitors. But that'll be, think about that, you got L, so M, N, O, P, Q, you got five blocks spread out, and then you got the plaza. So plenty of space to move around and social distance and space. And you know, if you, if you wanna wear your mask, wear your mask. Mm -hmm. If you feel comfortable, sanitizer, all that stuff. But otherwise we'll have plenty of space, you know, to move around. Excellent, and there will be a health fair as well. People will have a chance to learn more about any other programs, health related issues. Yep. Um, Anything else that you would want to add up before we end this part of the interview? Um, I, I think there's still time to you know, register for booth, yes. parade, um, the dog contest. Basically, they can go to the website, cdmomaha.com, and find more information. And, mm -hmm. uh, cdmomaha.com. Excelente. Pues muchas gracias allá en casa por vernos. We appreciate you for joining us today, and we appreciate the fact that you are interested to know more about what is going on South Omaha and with the Latino Hispanic community and agradecidos que nos están acompañando el día de hoy y pues que usted quiere saber qué está pasando en el sur de Omaha. Um, is there a, a way to learn more about social media activities? Will there be someone posting on Facebook, Instagram, what's going on? Will you guys have presence when it comes to social media? Yeah, definitely look for us for our, our CDM Omaha on, on Facebook, and we'll have information there. We'll be posting on that weekend. Of course, ahead of time, we'll be posting. So, yeah, lots of posting going on. All right, <laughs> fantastic. Well, 
Thank you for joining us with and uh, be estando aquí con nosotros. I'm just thinking in two languages right now. <laughs> so I hope that the information that you have learned today will help you decide where you're going to invest um, your time when it comes to May um, six, seven, okay. and eight. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of things to do, a lot of planning to do. Usted tiene muchos planes que pueda hacer para mayo seis, siete y ocho. Así que lo invitamos en casita. Prepare los, el dinerito para ir a lo, a lo de festividades del 5 de mayo. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Mm -hmm.